Good morning, everyone. So I'm here to shoot my video of my completed pages for the month of April. Um, I'm a little bit late, but I'm actually having some work done in my backyard. So I hopped down here quick this morning, hoping, hoping that I beat um, the workers, but they just walked into the backyard. So we'll see how far I get with this video. Um, I actually didn't color a lot this month, and I most definitely didn't color a lot of pages that required a lot of detail. Um, I actually started working a bit more. Um, in the last month, uh, they've needed me at work to help out with uh, a few extra projects and to help cover some people who unfortunately, um, are quite sick and haven't been able to work. Um, so that comes first. Let's see here. So for the month of April, I colored 24 pages, um, 18 of which were colored by number and six pages of which were non color by number. Um, and I, so let's just take a look here. So in January, 33 pages, February 32, March 26, April 24. So I've been slowly going down, um, since January. Um, so for my five books to finish, I did no pages out of one of the books and I stayed pretty consistent with the remainder of them. Um, for my five books to focus on, I did a page from my uh, Chibi Girls, and I was able to finish. So that was my third page from that book. Um, so I, if, if you didn't catch the video, I picked five books that I wanted to focus on for the year, and I wanted to get three pages done in each of those books. Um, I didn't touch any of my ton books to touch, and I didn't touch any Coloring Heaven or any Hannah Lynn which is silly because I also have a page that I almost have done um, from Daydreams and a page almost done from 10 books. So we'll see if I'm able to get to them this month, but I, I'm working even more extra hours in May than I was in April. So we shall see about that. Um, new books touched. I was able to touch five new books. Um, I purchased 12 new books in the month and no buddy colors. And it's funny because I was like, man, I did good in April. I barely bought anything. And then I went to total up the books and I went, oh, <laughs> maybe not as well as I thought. So anyway, so that's some of my quick stats for the month of April. Um, this is my little book I use here and I'm going to put this aside. And oh, I had these kind of stacked in order. Let's see here. Oof. Move them all over. Yeah, they've been here, which is great because I need the work done, but they've been here every day for a week now. I'm um, getting some work done in our backyard and I thought, oh, it's Saturday. Maybe, maybe they'll start a bit later. And nope, they're here right at 730 in the morning. Um, so they're punctual. So the first book here is A Mystery Mosaics. Um, this is one of my five books to finish. And I did not do a page from this last month. So I actually um, skipped a page because I had been kind of going in order. And I decided to do one of the double page uh, spreads in this book. So I did this one here. Um, I primarily use my uh, Crayola, uh, Crayola Super Tips. And it's this beautiful little hut on the water. Super cute. So this was the first page that I finished of the month because I felt so much guilt um, for not touching it. Um, the next book I worked in is another one of my five books to finish. And I'm actually wondering if I'm just going to blast through and finish this this month because I only have five more pages to do. So I've been doing generally two pages a month uh, in this book. So I finished this mandala here. And I use a combination of sometimes alcohol markers, my Sharpies, um, thick intensities, anything really that I have around that will match up to the colors. And then I finished this one here because I thought it was perfect for spring. And I love this one. I love the colors in it. Yeah. So five more pages left in this book and that one's done. The next one I have here is my Easter Ceramic Tiles Color by Number. This was a new book that I got last month, and it's by Prachi Dewan Sachdeva. And I just got one page done. 
I wish, I wish I got more, but I, I think I'm actually going to keep this in my May pile of books to work on because there's some in here that are pretty spring. Um, I did do one, I think the previous month I did this butterfly. Um, but yeah, I did this beautiful little egg and I've been loving seeing an egg. And I know it's always that way in color by number, but I've noticed, especially with these um, tile ones, um, when I'm seeing other people post because of the different shades that they're using, how different these images are turning out. And they just look fantastic. So I'm I, I am really enjoying these ceramic tile um, pages. All right. So the next one I have here is actually one of the new books that I picked up this month. So I'm going to put it aside and it's, um, I've wanted one of Angie Grace's books for a long time. So it's Angie's Patterns, volume 14, and this is the quirky one. And I just did the first page and I had so much fun with this. So I just picked out, um, some of the Sharpie the new mystic gem markers and I used those with a little bit of my metallic gold pen and I love how this turned out it was so much fun to work on as well and it was so much fun to come up with the pattern and I really can't wait to do the next one in this book so yeah normally I like to do a mandala every month and I did not um use one of my mandala books um ooh. In the month of April, but so this kind of filled the void for that. So there we go. And I'm going to put this one aside. Where am I going to put her? Okay, let's put her over here. Nope, that's where I have something else. Okay. So the next one, I hope you don't hear that banging. Okay. So the next one we have here is from My Princesses. And this is from the uh, Colorage um, Mysteries book by Hatchet Heroes. I'm rotating these books around. I like to try to do one of these Disney ones a month. And I have so much fun with them. But I actually didn't do a character this month. I decided to get um, one of the scenery images completed. And I did this one here of um, the castle from Little Mermaid. And oh my god, I love it so much. I think it turned out so great. Um, it wasn't the easiest, like getting the details in here in and around the ship. It was difficult. Um, but man, these pages just look amazing when they're completed. Um, I just use my Crayola Super Tips for these. And yeah, I think it looks so good. I'm so happy. I've got quite a few, um, done in this book. I've been going back to front. So if I do the front of the page, I've been trying to do the back. Um, oh, they're sighing. <laughs> I'm going to run out of time. Um, but yeah, I've just love them oh anyways so that's my castle that's what I chose to do this month and I think it turned out fabulous all right so the next one we have here is a rose windows coloring love this book from creative heaven and I got two pages done here so I did the first page I did was this one and um I did use a color palette that I saw that I had saved on Pinterest um, and I decided to try to do, you know, instead of doing rounds like this, to try and make like a flower shape. I like it, but once I finished, I'm not sure why I didn't do it straight. So every time I look at it, I'm not sure why I didn't pick to do it like that. Because it's kind of driving me nuts that it's on an angle. Like it should, it should be like this. Um, but anyways, that's how it went. Um, so it's not my favorite just because of that uh, one reason. Um, but I did that one. And then I picked out, I thought, some spring colors. And I think I just randomly chose markers for this one. And got this one completed. And I quite enjoy it. This book has been a lot of fun. So that was my two pages from Rose Windows, Creative Haven. Okay, I pulled out a book I haven't worked on in a long time, um, Color by Number Quest Circles, and I believe this is Kira Sharshneva. And uh, I was just going to use a random number generator to pick a page, but then I noticed I had yellowing from doing this bird. I did this bird in August, and I had yellowing on the next page. Um, so I decided to do that page, and it took away the yellowing. And now I'm going to put um, this book aside so that I can put some page protectors on it. Um, so I did this little cabin here with the flowers. 
I really enjoy um, working on these circles. Um, so yeah, it's excited. I'm actually going to page protect both of them because I can't remember, but I think I might have used some of those same um, alcohol markers on this page. Um, yep. Yeah. There they go again with the <laughs> sign. <laughs> Okay, so the, that's my page um, from Color by Number Quest Circles. And I, I just use a combination of like big intensities, alcohol markers. Um, I don't think I used any Crayola Super Tips this time. I think it was all like Sharpies or big intensities and uh, permanent markers. Okay, so that one goes aside for a page protector. I like to try to get a Color Questopia done every month. And this month I did one out of Kauai, Color by Number. So I have the black background. And this month I did, how would I go to the page tab? <laughs> oh, can't do that either, apparently. Okay, and I did this one here for Easter. So I did the cute little bunny page, and I really love how it turned out. Um, I have been seeing a lot of comments that this book here with the black background, you will tend to lose some of the details um, because they don't have like the stems in here. So I just used, um, you are able to see them. There's, there is a faint, faint line. Now, if you don't have good eyesight, you might um, have difficulty, um, but I was able to see them. So I just used one of my metallic gel pens and I drew... Oh, that's quite loud because they're drilling into the house. Um, and I just used my metallic gel pen and drew in the lines. And I think I think it looks good. Um, I didn't, I have to agree. I did not like the items floating um, on the black background until I put in that metallic um, gel pen. But then I was much, much happier with the result. And then I also um, did the antennae on my butterflies. Um, and I just used my alcohol markers. So that was the page I picked um, from this book. All right. Now we know it wouldn't be a month uh, for me without working in my color by number travel mosaic by uh, Sun Life Drawing. And this is on the black background. And I'm just going in order in this book. And I did the castle here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, and I just use a combination of my Sharpies. Um, I don't think I used any big intensities. I think it was just Sharpies and my alcohol markers in this book here. Um, so yep. Yeah. So that's the castle. All right. The next one I worked on is Kawaii Cuties. And this is from Alice Mills Publishing. This is one of their cross stitch style, uh, coloring books. And I did, I love this book. I've been working on this book every month as well. Um, and this month, so in this book here, I, I'm going in order, but I'm going in order from reverse. Um, and if you haven't worked in one of these books, if you work this way, you'll end up covering up your coating in the symbol. And the symbols are very tiny. Um, so you really want to work reverse so that you don't lose your color key while you're working on your image. Um, anyways, that was just a quick little tip. So this month was a full page one and it was Mr. Long Neck with the awesome giraffe. And in case you haven't been around my channel for a while, I love giraffes. I collect, collect them. They're my favorite animal have beautiful giraffes all over my house and I always have loved them so I was so excited um to get a little giraffe this month so I worked on this one slippery fellas next I just love the names of um of the pages in these books as well they're just adorable um yeah so that's my page from kawaii cuties uh cross stitch style adult coloring book all right the next one um, I have here is Easter Eggs Color by Number by, by Nikki Sharma. Um, I showed this in my haul video last month, and I believe I said I would do a flip. Um, sorry, I was just listening. I thought that they were maybe knocking on the door. I said that I would do a flip and review of this coloring book, um, but it was way after Easter um, by the time I got around to looking at where I was. <clears throat> excuse me, where I was with all my videos. So I decided not to post a flip and review. But if you still would like to see a flip and review of this book, 
um, just leave it in the comments below and I'm more than happy to do it for you. Um, so now I'm still trying to work out how I want to color it in the style of coloring book, but, um, let's see here. I decided to use in this one, just my alcohol markers. I colored the image and then I tried to use some of them to do, um, bits of shading and I quite like how it turns out. I love this one, Mr. Bunny here cooking up some carrots and I thought he was so adorable. I really did have a lot of fun with this page here. So that is Easter eggs, color by number by Nikki Sharma. Oh, sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee. All right, <clears throat> not used to talking this much this early. So the next one I have here is another page out of Cute and Hoppy from Alexandra Franzi. Loving this book. Wish I got more done in it this month, but maybe we'll put it in the basket for next. Um, I got this page done here, which is the cute little hedgehog on um, the Easter egg. All I used here was my alcohol markers. Um, I used some metallic gel pen for the little flower and to circle the little um, spots on the mushroom. And then I used a little bit of glitter gel pen in one of the stripes of the Easter egg. And I really love how it turned out. Oh, and I also used some white Posca. And he is so cute. This book is just fabulous. I love so many of the images. That was the one I did last month. Um, yeah. So that was my page from Cute and Hoppy Coloring Book by Alexandra Frenzies. All right. The next one here is another one of my five books to finish. Um, this one is The Lots of Dots. And whoo, really drilling into the house now. So I got four pages done. A lot of them were animals this month. So I think, I don't know, is this like a sleeping lemur? That's what I want to say. But anyways, um, we have a whale. And I just used my Crayola Super Tips for this book. We have two little sharks, maybe? I don't know. Fish? They're swimming down. <laughs> And then we have a cute little parrot in this book here. And yeah, so we're slowly working our way through. I've been trying to do four pages a month. Oh, ooh, that's a lot of dots. But you know what? I think it'll look fabulous. Um, but there's a lot of itty bitty dots. And yeah, so I'm slowly working my way through here. Um, yep, yeah, so that's lots of dots. All right. The next one I have here is Color by Color Spring by Kara Sharshneva. Sharshneva? Yeah, I think that's right. Um, and this is uh, the Color by Colors version. And I got one page done. And I chose to do the bunny page. And I just used my alcohol markers um, for these ones here. Quite like how it turned out, although I think that I picked too bright of a yellow for my sky there. Looks a little fluorescent, um, but I do enjoy it and happy that I got it completed. So that is uh, my page from Colors by Color uh, Spring. Next one, this was a new book that I got this year that I haven't worked in. Um, this is 50 Springtime Mandalas by Camelia Angel Kova. I got one page done and I did this one here. So I did um, one of the Easter egg pages with the flowers. I just used my alcohol markers and I used a um, metallic gold gel pen to go around the Easter egg. So pretty simple. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I think I see faint yellowing. So I'm going to put this book aside to um, oh, to put a page protector on. It's those tiny shuttle art markers um, that I have. Quite a few of the colors make that yellowing. So, um, yep. Yeah, so that's my page from 50 Springtime Mandalas. And that book goes over here for some page protector. 
which means that this book is going to have to get a page protector too. So I did one page out of my Chippy Girls Jade Summer um, Grayscale Two Books in One. This is one of my books to focus on for the year, and I wanted to get at least three pages done. Now I knew I would reach um, this goal. It was kind of a cheat book, if you will, um, because I color in this book quite a bit, and I enjoy it. Um, and the page I did, let's see... I knew it was probably going to yellow. Was this one here? I did the little bunny girl. And I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Um, I was really nervous to do this page because of the, um, all the detail and all the flowers. But I think it turned out really good. Happy with it. And I just used my alcohol markers and um, my white Posca. So I kept a pretty simple, no gel pen on it, but I didn't think it needed it because of how busy the page was. So, yep. Yeah, so that's my page from Chibi Girls, Jade Summer. Yep, yeah, that goes in my page protector. Um, and then the next book here is Sorcerers, which is one of the Colorage Mysteries from Art Therapy. So this is the same producers of the French Disney coloring books, um, but it's non-Disney books. Um, I saw this on ooh, someone's channel. Mm, I don't know if I can recall now, but so many people I've seen have been picking this book up. Um, and I just loved the images in it. So I couldn't decide which page to do. So when in doubt, do the first page. So I did this one here and I love how she came out. She was so adorable and I love the little kitty cat. And yeah, I just use my Crayola Super Tips. Um, so same thing I do in my French Disney books. And I just try to do my lines as straight as possible. So, yep. There's my little witch. And this book has to go aside because she's a new one. All right. And the last book I have to share with you today is I got two pages done in my Disney Grand Classics. Oh, they're hammering. Do you hear that? I am getting a deck, so it is worth the sound, but <laughs> I'm also trying to shoot a video. Okay, so uh, Disney Grand Classics, uh, Carrier Mr. Ayers. This is one of my five books to finish with the lovely sound effects in the background. And I got, got two pages done in here. And I did um, these two. So I just used my Crayola Super Tips in this book. And I used the X method um, in here. And so we have Rapunzel and a page from Wreck-It Ralph. Love how they both turned out. I tried to use very bright colors. Um, I do think my Ralph turned out pretty pink. Um, but looking at it through the camera, it works because he's supposed to be like angry Ralph, right? Because he's Wreck-It Ralph. Um, in person, he looks a little strawberry-ish. Um, but yeah, I do think it looks good. Um, working my way through this one. So those are my pages for April. So nothing exciting, no pencil crown work. Um, but as I said, I had a ridiculously busy month um, with trying to get stuff done around the house and I've been working more and I just haven't had the time. And you know what? That's okay. That's life. I'm not here to get stressed out about my hobby. <laughs> um, so thank you. I want to you know, I want to say thank you for everyone. Um, I've noticed I've had a bunch of new subscribers, so I want to say thank you for joining me. Um, if you have any questions or you want to see a flip through of any of the books that I shared here today, um, please feel free to leave a comment uh, below and I will be happy to answer you or um, do a flip. Um, and if you enjoy this video, if you want to just click the button to give it a thumbs up above, um, that does help, um, help the channel and help the video. I, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to shoot another video right now. Hopefully I get it in of the new books that I purchased, um, this month. Thanks so much. Have a fabulous day and we'll see you guys all again soon. Bye-bye.